Okay guys, let's go over Ethereum. Um, I want you guys to pay attention to this video. This is gonna be a, a pretty important update for the weekend. Uh, okay, actually quick, let, let's just do this because I know you guys wanna see this. We are currently 63 for 63 wins on this channel. We have not lost a trade on this channel. It's because we have really good risk management. Um, we are using good metrics and really good indicators. I'll show that to you all guys. I promise I'll show you how to get into our next trade setups in the second half of this video. So you literally don't miss another trade setup. Uh, just end up taking a, a win here actually because it's a move of a stop loss of 21.52%. Guys, we're not scalping the markets in here. Contrary to belief, we're not trying to just take 1% to 2% out of the market. We're doing very well. Our average trade, again, here, here's 17.88% here. Um, here's XRP a little bit lower here just to capture some profits before it went back down. But then another 25.18% on DOT. So... Guys, we're actually doing between about 10 to 20% per trade over here. And actually, sometimes it gets even higher. Like Bitcoin, we ended up closing a 32% trade. Okay, very important update. I will do a Bitcoin update today, guys. But we just ended up breaking down below the ascending support line for Bitcoin. This is dropping Ethereum right now. And those of you guys who know where the buy limit is set up, you guys literally have some time this morning, if you guys are watching this, to get into our next Ethereum trade, which is what I am actually currently set up for in my exchange over here. So this is kind of an exciting video, but I want to just be a little more um, straightforward here. So, so let's watch this carefully. We have a buy limit that is about to get hit. It's very close to this structure here on the chart, okay? If you guys are set up, you're good to go. If you are not, real quickly, so you don't miss this, and I know this is heading fast, so let me do this in the beginning here. Give me some grace here, guys. Uh, quickly, the pricing over here is $49 a month. Great, once you have that, click live trades. I'll cover this in the second half of the video, I promise. But click Ethereum in here, and that's gonna give you guys the buy limits. It's gonna look like this. If you have your entry here, it's gonna be you know four different lines here. It's gonna be all the entries you guys want. So basically, you're gonna see Ethereum, for example, this is Bitcoin. We're gonna use it, pretend it's Ethereum. Ethereum is very close to hitting the first buy limit right now. So you guys wanna make sure you get in here and set this up if you want to trade with me on this channel because we're going to try to make this another winning trade obviously so that is very close once your first buy limit gets hit, hit make sure you have your other three buy limits set up at the four yellow lines below the current price once that happens, follow me in Telegram and I'll cover the rest of that in the second half of this video. So we are very close to being triggered in and I wouldn't doubt if this actually happens today. So make sure you guys are watching this very closely. And I think maybe some people have actually might've already gotten picked up. All right, the, the price for swell money flow and the trend exhaustion. These indicators, guys, uh, not only are they going up in nine days, you guys have nine days left and the price for swell money flow is going up. But look at how accurate these are at calling the tops in the market here. The market could not go up any higher here. The trend exhaustion pushed in the top red section we had to move back down. Trend exhaustion, top right section. We had to move back down. I was calling a bull trap on the last Ethereum video I did in here. I said, guys, watch for the bull trap. It's going to fake people out to the upside and we're going to start heading back down. That's exactly what happened. Now, why was I able to call that? It wasn't just because I just threw that out there, okay? It's just like, oh, a bull trap sounds nice. We were starting to move up on the trend exhaustion. And historically, this indicator is ridiculous at calling drops and tops in the market, okay? I've shown this to you guys before, but let me just give you guys a, a show of this real quick for those of you who are brand new. If you guys watch when this gets in the top red section here, the price is not heading too much further up after that. Like we dropped down immediately there. We got up into the top section here. We saw a nice drop. We got to the top section. The price could not go any higher and we dropped back down. The well money flow in green here, if this is positively correlated where this is high as well as the trend exhaustion is high, guys, that is where we are looking for drops back down in the market. It is holding very true here. Even when we got these two points pushed up in the top red section, we could not push up to another higher high. We simply just consolidated and actually moved down after that. And then we started moving back up. When? Actually, when we got to the bottom red section, it was the actual low point, And then we started moving back up. So not only is it calling the tops in here, it is literally calling the bottoms before we move up the bottoms over here before we move back up. Okay. It's very accurate. Again, it's about 75 to 80% accurate is what I can call here. And I've been coding into indicators for tradingview.com customers for a long time. So here, let's take all that we know of the accuracy of this, and then let's predict where we're currently at. Over the weekend, here's what I'm looking for. I, I, have, I have no doubts, guys, we're probably gonna get triggered into this buy limit pretty quick. We have the structure here that we might start seeing a bounce from, but the trend exhaustion is, can also push down further, and the well money flow can clearly start selling out further, definitely further. But then I think what's gonna happen is once we get down to the red section, it's why it's very important you guys get these indicators in the description here. Watch this. When it gets down here, I am looking for another pump back up in the market, which could bring us to structure low here, or maybe even a little bit lower to this structure where we start seeing pumps back up. And that's where we're going to look to take profit 
is the next time the trend exhaustion pushes back up into the top red section. Does that make sense, guys? So let me cover this. We're looking for an entry here to get triggered very fast, and then the next time the trend exhaustion pushes up in the top red section here, that is where I'm looking for at least a 25 to 50% exit. So if I'm not covering this on the actual uh, channel here or on Telegram, because sometimes I'm not able to cover them all, make sure you guys have the indicators to look for exits, okay? I'm gonna try to, but watch that carefully. We wanna exit once we're in the profit on the trade. Okay, follow me here, because this is interesting if we look at the metrics here, and I'll show you guys exactly how to set up so you don't miss the next trade here, because we are really 63 for 63 wins. All right. Uh, the emotional index here is pushing up into the excited and the greedy section. We've seen that when we pushed up into greedy over here, but recently we pushed up very strongly into the excited area. This tells me that a lot of retail traders are looking to buy. That's clear what they were doing in here. We are not going to be buying into the FOMO of this, okay? We are going to be waiting for this to come back down and get triggered in here. I, I Watch this. I want to just admit this because I'm going to get questions, guys. I accidentally f did a a dumb finger move on my my phone, I accidentally placed an order at the wrong spot when I was doing a buy limit. Now, this is gonna happen to some of you guys, so I wanna be the first one to admit this. The reason why we use really good risk management is sometimes you're just gonna make dumb decisions. And it's not that I, I was trying to place a trade. I actually entered a trade on accident wrong and I forgot to do limit and I ended up typing in it wrong and I did a market. So let me just be the first to admit this out here that I accidentally did this. But over here, I ended up getting in here for Ethereum, oh, where'd it go? Under the fill trades, I exited out really quickly but got in and got out. So it was not part of the trades at all. I literally still have my buy limit. Sorry, let me go back over to where we were. I have my buy limit still set up exactly where this shows. Sorry, guys. Exactly where it shows over here on the live trades, okay? I show this to you guys where it's at. I'm currently ready to get picked up in the exchange, and it's, everything is clear. I just wanted to cover that. But sometimes what you guys are going to do is you're going to make mistakes. Like, I let this be a learning thing. This is another reason why we use really good risk management because there's going to be times where you accidentally hit market instead of limit. Okay, it's just gonna happen. So the strategy is there to help you guys and I wanna be the first to prove that because I don't wanna be like, oh, I, I do everything perfect because I'm the creator of the channel. No, I make mistakes too, but the strategy is still gonna hold true. Again, we're totally fine. Didn't affect any of the trade wins, or anything like that. We haven't even gotten into our first buy limit yet. So Ethereum in here, get ready for that trade to be triggered, all right? Just, just be ready for it, okay guys? So looking at this for Ethereum, for the emotional index, we're sitting in the greedy section. Pushing to the greedy, we're currently in, in excited right now. Looking at this, guys, this is still pushing pressure on the Ethereum price structure at the moment. Price is going up here. We see that short trades are increasing and long trades just really aren't doing anything. They're so flat. I've never seen a currency just have long trades so flat. That means people on Bitfinex are basically just holding their long trades right now. They're not putting any more in because they're not confident that this is going to head up too much higher. So what we're waiting for is for the short trades to take place, which they're already happening clearly in the market. They're already in profit making money. What we're looking for is a move down here in structure to get picked up for our buy limit. And then we're going to look to ride this back up. This is still, in my opinion, and buying a little bit high, but I want to make sure we're getting in here in case this thing starts skyrocketing back up. Now, what are we going to do as far as mitigating losses if this thing drops out and, and Bitcoin actually does start you know, dropping out really faster like it literally is right now? We have our buy limits set very far apart. You guys are like, Travis, you're never going to hit your third or fourth buy limit. Well, I've hit my third a third buy limit. I've had a short trade hit the fourth buy limit. You guys that are new to this channel, you guys have been trading in an uptrend. You don't know what it's like to trade when the market crashes. I do. Some of our OG traders know that. And I promise you, you are going to be like, man, I really wish I listened to Travis if the market crashes here and we go past our first and second buy limit and you don't have anything else set up. Like, guys, please, I'm telling you, you want to get your buy limit set up in here in your exchanges and you want to have all four of them. Please, guys. I'm like trying to sound the alarm here. We are getting in at higher prices here. We're not FOMOing at the top, but we're waiting for discounted prices and we were getting in. But in case it crashes, you want to have good risk management. Okay. Take a look at here. This is off the charts here. This has happened before telling us, hey, watch out when it gets off the charts. Well, previous time before here, we saw a huge crash in the market. The time here, we saw a huge crash in the market. Could this be the third time where we start seeing crashes back down into equilibrium for this metric? I do believe that's what we're going to see in here. Now, well, in institutional smart money, what are they doing? They're getting very, very smart and they are acquiring short trades right now as this has gone up and they are already in the profit. While all of you guys, no, excuse me, please let me correct that. While a lot of people ended up FOMOing into this move up here because you guys saw a break of resistance here and you thought it was going to go to the moon, which nothing goes to the moon. I hope you guys just get rid of that vocabulary when you talk to your friends and stuff. I, the only reason why I say it is to make fun of it, honestly. I'm trying to be kind here. But like, 
nothing just goes to the moon. Okay, everything has pullbacks and you guys can make money in here, okay? You know, people thought everything was gonna go to the moon over here and then we dropped down like 60%, 70% in the coin and everyone's like, oh, I guess we didn't go to the moon. So <laughs> it's better to just follow the analysis, have good risk management instead of getting emotionally stimulated about going to the moon, okay? So what we're seeing in here is the acquisition of short trades with smart money. What this means for us, since we do not take any short trades on this channel anymore, is that we are getting ready for long trades. Why? Because short trades take over, they drop the price, we get picked up on discount, and we ride this back up. It's so simple, guys, if you know how to follow this. The metrics aren't going to lie here of what's best, okay? Now, support resistance prices for Ethereum. We've gotten up here. Where are we going to move back down, guys, if this crash happens? I've covered this before, but let me just cover this again. If you take out a Fibonacci retracement here and you pull the top of the trend, which is basically, you know, obviously the top where we stalled out, and the bottom, the 50% retracement sits around $3,500, okay? That's the top of it, $3,500. This also correlates to structures down here where I do think we can see a nice little bounce. Now, the second buy limit is below here. It's actually quite a bit further down here. So we have our first buy limit, we have our second buy limit, and we have a lot of room in here for this to fluctuate. Now, listen carefully, guys. We may be holding these trades a little bit longer than normal, but it is very smart to do that because I do not, this is what you do not want to do. And if you're doing this, I highly, I'm not your financial advisor, but I highly suggest you change your strategy right now. If you guys are dollar cost averaging in and you guys have some dollar cost average entries that look like this, let's say, for example, you're using four and you have them this close together, historically, that is a terrible decision, okay? What you guys need to be doing is following our metrics in here and using our buy limits where they are spread out very far because if this thing sees a crash like this or it is not unlikely that we could see a crash in the market like this, you guys are gonna hold the bag for possibly like months and months and months. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get entries really low where our average is gonna keep moving down with drastic moves down because our buy limits are so low and we'll be making money back faster than anyone else. I promise you guys, we might be holding longer if the market crashes, but we will be making but money back faster and our break even entry will be better than everyone else. Like mark those words, guys, if it crashes. I promise I'll prove it to you because I'm not gonna not cover this, okay? I'm in this trade. I'm gonna cover this, I promise, okay? So over here, dollar cost average entries, I'm still looking for this move back down. If we get another one, we're gonna be looking for green lines to form here. This is where you can put in like a thousand bucks every time if you guys choose so, up to you, and then you can ride this up. All right, looking at exit points. We're sitting up here in the top section here. I am looking for another red bar to come out here if we start seeing another move back up, but if it doesn't, that's totally okay. What we need to be doing right now is setting up our long trade. So let's get into this section of the video. Real quick, guys, you want to see some profits from this last week? Um, this guy took $50,000. He ended up doing 12.5% uh, on Solana. Um, those that are still in Solana, guys, you guys are doing crazy, crazy good. You're up 21.52% right now. And I just updated this for all of you guys in the Telegram channel to move your stop loss here for October 22nd to 239 cents. You're up 21.52%, guys. Like if you're just following the entries that I'm about to show you and you follow me in the Telegram channel and you guys have the indicators because clearly I'm calling exits up here because we're at the top section and we're due for a move back down. You are doing so, so well on this channel. This guy ended up using a little bit of leverage in here. I do not recommend you guys using leverage, but I just want to share this with you guys. For those of you who are, this guy was up 372%. You guys are like, well, why are you showing a testimony if you don't want to encourage leverage? There are a few people who've been trading for a very long time who understand how to correctly use leverage, okay? For the average retail trader, you should not be using it because it's more emotionally stimulating. And what you guys are doing with leverage is, I actually put this in here for a talking point as well. So this is why I did this. So if you guys use leverage, most of you guys are using leverage because you want to pull the jackpot and you want to make more money faster. Unless you can prove to me that you've traded for a long time I'm not going to suggest to you that it is a possibility until you have a proven track record. The people I've coached one-on-one -on, -one on my coaching calls, I work with them. I understand their history. I get to talk to them and I say, okay, maybe if you guys want to get in here and you want to try to use a little bit of leverage in here and you want to try to use like one X or maybe two X leverage to try to get into the first, second, and third buy limits, you can do that. But again, guys, here are my final words and hear me out. Do not use leverage, okay? That I'm not gonna use it and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. So it's only the people I have personally got to know, I know personally on coaching calls that I have recommended that to and they have a track record, okay? All right. Once you guys have your membership, it's 49 bucks a month. You guys want to come in here and you want to be looking to get this. This is going to go up eventually. I don't know the exact date, but I'll grandfather all of you guys in who get in now in case the price goes up. They'll give you access to the metrics you need to be watching over here. Here's what you guys need to do right now if you want to join me on this trade, and it's going to happen very fast. It could happen today. Click Ethereum right now. I covered this in the beginning of the video, but let's go over this. 
you're gonna have four yellow lines below the current price right now, and it's going to look very, very close to this. So this might actually be overlapping the first buy limit for Ethereum. This is gonna say 22 when this updates at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? It's gonna be overlapping. Look to the right over here, and you'll see exactly where that buy limit is. If you wanna get in the next trade, you guys can get the buy limit in there. Make sure your other three buy limits are set up and they are spread apart. Look at this, I've spread this apart in case we crash back down. You don't wanna be getting into these high positions, guys, thinking it's just gonna keep going to the moon when this thing could see a big crash. Crash. You must have buy limits spread out accurately, okay? I promise it will keep you guys safe in the market. Once you do that, click the Telegram link down here. This will have a hot link. You must be logged into Telegram first. Click that. It will add you guys into the chart over here where I'm literally calling all of these exits in here for our coins, and you guys are doing amazing. Yes, we are 63 for 63 wins on this channel. Last but not least, guys, I should have started with this, but the indicators that you guys see me using here, price risk, well, money flow, and the trend exhaustion, we are so close to hitting that buy limit. We are, I'm going to be upping the prices of these. You guys have nine days left. You have nine days left. The price versus well money flow is going up in price. The trend exhaustion is also going up in price before the end of the year. The bundle pack is the absolute best thing to get because this is not gonna go up in price for you guys this month. You will actually get appreciating value and plus you get four other indicators on top of all these five here in this bundle pack. Coded indicators for a living for trading view. I promise you guys, these are the best indicators you guys can be using to trade. I've coded hundreds and made my living off of this. This is what you guys wanna do. This is sold separately from the membership. So make sure you guys snag this. I take Saturdays and Sundays off to be with my family and go to church. So I'm not gonna be doing videos on the weekend, but when you guys get these and you click over here, the download link has a link to the video tutorial of how to set this up and it gives you guys everything for each of these coins. At minimum, get the price versus the well money flow get the trend dashboard, get the trend exhaustion because you guys can follow my charts over here. And yes, I am using these in the analysis over here so you guys can understand calling the trend exhaustion and the price versus well money flow is at the top. Here is why I'm doing exactly what I'm doing, exiting 50% at these marks. You guys need to be following along with me so you can understand this. So let's wrap this video up and end this. You guys need to get your membership because this is a entry that is about to be triggered out and I will be entered into this myself. I'm looking at my Coinbase account right now on my phone. I can see the buy limit right now. We are very close and we are going to enter into this most likely in the next probably hour here if we drop down because Bitcoin's dropping here. So do not miss that guys. And then make sure you guys have the indicators before they go up in price. And then also get the membership before this goes up in price as well. So you guys can lock that in for life. Um, as long as you have your membership, I'm not going to up it on you. So you guys can have that. All right, guys, God bless you. Let's get ready for a sweet weekend. Let's see what happens here. Let's make some more money. Let's see if we can go 65 for 65 wins, maybe possibly 70 for 70 wins by the end of October is what I'm going to be shooting for. So uh, that's my full update guys. God bless you so, so much. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. I'll keep you guys updated on this channel here. Get your buy limit set up, get your membership, get your indicators, follow me, and let's start winning some more trades together on this channel. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.